hello welcome back to ios tech in this video i am going to show you that how you can log out in your angular project i already have my angular project that is currently using the version let me show you the version you can see right now i'm using angular 14 you can use the latest version as well this uh, tutorial will work your latest version as well right now i have very basic angular project with nothing in it it is empty and uh, i am going to run this project for that run the command ng serve minus o that will open it in the browser and once it is running in the browser we will start working on it so i will be using this uh, dummy json website so it will provide me the url where i can test i can uh, use the dummy login authentication i am just going to show you how to log in and then i will show you how to log out so you can see that project is running in the browser here i will quickly create a form you can create a div as well it does not matter in the app module make sure to import the reactive forms module and now here add the constructor inject the form builder from the angular and now create a form property and give it a type form group and initialize it with the list.fb dot group and pass the properties that we want to uh, manage so we want to maintain username password now uh, here just add the scare bracket form group and give it the value with and the value should be the form that you just defined here okay now here i will add two inputs one would be the username second would be the password field okay and here i will add a button login and now i will add on click event here that will call a function submit that i will define shortly but before that let me connect my input fields with these uh, form group controls so for that add the directive called form control name and give it the same name that you have added in the form group properties so here add the username and in the second input i'm going to add password and here i will define my submit function now and after that i will inject another service that is private http http but before that i have to import the http client module so let me import it here okay once you do that you can inject the http client service here make sure to import it here on the top as well and after that i will use this http service i will use the post method and here i will pass the url and i can get the url of the rest api from here copy it paste and now pass the data that you want to pass i want to pass username and get the username from the form group by using this dot form dot value dot username and then password i am going to copy paste this so i will change from here type password and password here okay now i will call the subscribe function on it and i will pass it the callback function and i will receive the response in this callback function so let me alert this response okay now let's try it so actually let me give a little bit of styling to this form so let me give it the id and in the sas file i will style that form display flex and gap should be 20 pixels and flex direction should be column and width should be 400 pixels margin auto gap let's reduce the gap okay and finally i will add the margin top as well okay let's try to log in so i am going to use these credentials to log in and this one so click on the login button you can see it has logged in successfully and it gave me the response now i'm going to save this uh, login response in my local storage uh, as in the form of the session so for that 
I will use local storage dot actually uh, I also need to create a service as well to keep the state of this session in my application for that I need to generate a service for that type ng generate service and here I will add the name of the service that would be auth press enter and that would generate the auth service for you and here I will add the property session and by default keep it any and now I'm going to move this logic into the auth service and here I will create a function login username and password would would come with the help of the parameters and give the type here string string and let me inject the http client module http client service and i'm going to use the username from parameter here instead and similarly for the password as well okay now i will get rid of this alert for now and here I will simply inject my auth service here instead of HTTP client so private auth service auth service and now in the submit function uh, I will use this the uh, this dot auth service dot login and pass it the data for username and password all right and i can subscribe it as well or no i am not going to use the response there is an error because i did not return the uh, response of the i did not return the observable so let me return it and also as i want to subscribe on multiple places so i am going to use the uh, share operator here and <clears throat> Now let me save this in the observable. Return this observable and subscribe to this observable. And here I will set this response to the session property. And also I'm going to save this session in the local storage so that if you reload the browser, the session would still persist. So for that set local storage dot set item and here add session and add json dot stringify and this dot session all right now let's try it so if so here in the in this subscribe function i will just show the alert that uh, congratulations you have been logged in successfully okay now let's try it let me use this username password again okay you can see the success message and now let's uh, look at the local storage to make sure that the session has been preserved for that look at this you can see that the session has been saved here and now even if you reload it it will still uh, stay there you can see I'm reloading but uh, a session is uh, not going anywhere now based on this session we can hide the login form and we can display the welcome message instead of that so here <coughs> uh, instead of making the auth service private I will make it public so that I could access in the app.component.html here I will add the ng if and here I will use the auth service dot <coughs> login function no instead of login we need to use session function uh, we need to use session property <coughs> and we will show the login form only if session is undefined but if there is an if there is a session then i will show a welcome message and in this welcome message i will show the name of that person that is auth service dot session dot first name okay and here i will show this div based on the condition so i'm going to copy paste this condition because it is going to be same ex except this exclamatory sign now 
uh, it is still showing the login form. The reason is that we did not recover the session from the local storage when you reload the browser. For that, go to the auth service and here uh, in the constructor, I will check if there is session, this dot session. Actually, let me get the session from the local storage let session is equal to local storage dot get item and give it the name of the property in the local storage and i will check if there is a session then set this session to the local uh, this uh, to do the property of this service is equal to as this session that is coming from the local storage it is in the string string format so we have to parse it into the json format for that use json dot parse and here add the session okay now the session would be updated and as soon as it will be updated it would be available here in the html as well because we are uh, using it with the help of the auth service now you can see that the login form has been gone now here after that i also want to show the logout button so for that add the button logout and here i will add the on click event and here i will use the auth service dot logout and i will define that logout function there so let's try it now here i will create this logout function and here first of all i will unset the value of the session property of this service for that use this dot session is equal to undefined and also i want to destroy the session from the local storage as well for that use local storage dot set uh, remove item and give it the name of the property that you want to remove from the local storage i want to remove session so now let's save it now let's try it if you click on that we will uh, remove the session from the session property and as we are using this session property in the app.component.html so if this session would be undefined then this section would not be visible and it will start showing the form again so let's try it you can see that in the local storage the session has been removed also the login screen has been appeared again so you can log in again and this will work fine again in the same way like it was working before so all right you can see that i'm logged in and now it is showing you the welcome screen i hope that this video was helpful for you if you have any questions or any suggestions then please leave them in the comment section also please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to help them thanks for watching and see you next time goodbye